So I'm standing here in my studio in San Francisco. Uh, we are in uh, the beginning of what seems to be an annual heat wave. Uh, so I'm going to make this a quick video. My job here is going to be to get through this video before the sweat gets through this shirt. I got my pink buttons on for pink October, and I want to talk to you guys specifically about accelerating that vision for you. Welcome everyone. My name is Brett Guida, and I'm the founder of Razor Value. My mission is to be a catalyst for you to live your full expression in your business and in your life. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means something different to everyone. Uh, let's start with what it is that you want, what your vision is, who you want to be, and how you can create it. Over the past 10 years, I've had the honor of working with thousands of people globally, everyone from executives and managers in Fortune 1000 companies to entrepreneurs and service providers. And what I've found is that consistently among all of them, you're looking for three things. You're looking for more time, you're looking for more influence, and you're looking for more impact. So let's start that with an equation. Remember back in school, we'd do math equations, we'd do them on a chalkboard. So I thought appropriately I'd bring a chalkboard. Now this is an equation that was actually uh, created and popularized by a global consultancy that I've been working with for the last five years called Rogen SI. And they call it their exceptional performance formula. Now, before I dig into the formula itself, let's first look at this piece right here, exceptional performance. That term, exceptional performance, might not really resonate for everyone. So I want to be clear that this is really about creating anything you want. So let's do this. Let's say that when we talk about exceptional performance, we're really talking about you being a great fill-in-the-blank speaker, influencer, manager, negotiator, entrepreneur, leader, an athlete, even in your personal life, a great parent, creating a great culture, a great team, or maybe it's happiness, mindfulness, success, whatever that definition is for you, or lifestyle, you know, holistically, everything in your life, what a lot of people call work-life balance. Whatever it is, how do you create it exactly the way you want it? That's what this equation is about. So let's break it down. K plus S plus P times M. K stands for knowledge. Okay? Whatever you're going to do in life, you got to have the knowledge, the understanding of how to do it. S is skills. Now skills, maybe some of you have heard this concept of 10,000 hours to mastery. There's no substitute for time and experience when it comes to building your skills. So you've got to build up your skills in each of these areas. And P, P stands for process. Another word for that would be systems. Okay? No matter how much you might feel that processes or systems sometimes get in your way, without them there would be chaos. And when you can put really great systems in place, then you can really accelerate what it is you want to do. Now that said, as important as these three elements are, they're all multiplied by M. And M stands for mindset. I want to focus on this mindset piece. Now partly because if you understand math, you realize that as a multiplier, it's clearly pretty important. Mostly, though, because as I've been out there working with many of you over the last 10 years, I know this is important to you, and I know it's what a lot of you struggle with. Asking me the question of how. You know, how do I work on my mindset? How can I develop it? What do I need to do? Give me something tangible. Well, first of all, I think the word in itself, mindset, might be a little bit misleading. You know, just this week I was having a conversation with a client of mine. And she was sharing with me a light bulb moment, as she put it, out of one of our coaching sessions. And the words out of her mouth were, you know, Brett, I always knew it in my head, but I didn't really know it in my heart. And as she shared that with me, I realized she was talking about mindset. And so I did a little bit of doodling. Through this doodling, I wrote some words around the M here. Beliefs, thoughts, vision, clarity, awareness, emotional intelligence, heart. All words that actually encompass part of what we're talking about when we talk about mindset. And realizing that mindset is about knowing yourself. It's about being able to express yourself. It's about being able to leverage yourself, to know your strengths, and to use them. And so there's a lot of factors wrapped into mindset. And it struck me that maybe there's another dimension to this equation. Your ability to bring all this together. Your ability to maximize your effectiveness in executing this equation so that you can create all of this. And that between this and this is one important X factor. And that X factor is you. 
And so I'm going to modify this equation just slightly. I'm going to take the original, but I'm going to make it so now knowledge plus skills plus process times mindset to the power of you. to the power of self equals full expression, being the best you can be, creating exactly what it is that you want. If this is true, how do you maximize self? How do you develop yourself in such a way that you are exponentially more effective at all of this so that you can actually go out and create exactly what it is that you want? Well, it's called self-development, personal development. You know, terms that are thrown around, but I'm not sure if people really understand how critical they are to your success. If you work more on yourself than you work on your business, you will be blown away by the results. If you're up for that, stay tuned. That's where we're going. In the coming week, I'm going to start sharing resources with you that are going to help drive all this forward. That's what Raise Your Value is about. It's just about immersion and repetition, immersion and repetition, immersion and repetition. Right? Getting the tools, getting the ahas, and then applying them. And raising your value week by week, month by month, quarter by quarter. And right now, what I want you to think about is how can you have a big finish to 2014 and get a head start on 2015. That's where we're going and you're invited. So keep an eye out. More information is going to be coming soon. In the interim, if this information is resonating with you, if you can think of other people that you think might get value out of what I'm talking about here, then forward this email to them. They can go to raiseyourvalue.com. They can opt in to be a part of the mailing list there and they will get all this information I'm going to be sending out over the coming weeks. Don't miss out. Share the information. Until then, keep on keeping on, as they say. We'll be talking again soon.